When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Also, you can see this in the video version on YouTube, on channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Early Sunday morning. Good morning, all. I want you all <clears throat> to listen up right now. Just open up those ears. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to be great. You owe it to yourself to be the best you can be. Some say that's selfish. Some might even say they owe it to their family to be there for them. Let me tell you something right now this early morning. You owe it to your family to set an example An example of someone who lives the life they want to live. A strong example of a strong human being. You owe it to everyone you love to set an example of what a great life looks like. So they can follow you in your footsteps. Settling for less. It stops with you. Accepting average. It stops with you. Strength, courage, determination, and a beautiful life, that starts with you. You can't help anyone until you help yourself. And when you make you strong, that strength will spill over to everyone else. They will be inspired by you. They will follow your example. Some say to focus on yourself is selfish. I say to settle for a mediocre life you hate is even more selfish because that will be replicated for many generations to come until someone says enough is enough I am more than this I'm worth more than this you owe it to yourself to see how far you can go in life you owe it to yourself to earn the kind of money you want to earn you owe it to yourself to be The kind of person you want to be, to feel the energy you want to feel, to have the body you want to have, to 
also to do the work that you know you are capable of doing. Don't settle for anything less. You owe it to yourself to feel the pride of knowing you made your life. You didn't get lucky. You worked for it. You sacrificed. When it was hard, you pushed harder. You owe it to yourself to feel that pride. You owe it to yourself to look back one day and say, that was the moment that I shined. That was the moment I decided no more. That was the moment I decided no excuses. That was the moment I said, never again, never again will I settle for less. I will work, I will ask, and I will learn. I will not stop at hurdles. I will not stop at setbacks. I will persist until I win. You owe it to yourself this early morning. No one else. Do it for you and you only. You owe it to yourself to be great. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to feel the pride of knowing today is a brand new day and I will make my life the way it is supposed to be. You owe it to yourself to look back one day and say, that was the moment that I shined. I will work. I will learn. I will not stop at setbacks. I will believe in myself. I will never give up. And I will continue. I owe it to you to get up this early morning at 5.15 in the morning to give you this message. You owe it to yourself. So believe in yourself. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger forever and can change your life. And may God bless each and every one of you out there. You owe it to yourself. Believe in yourself. And things will start being the way you like to have it. May God bless each and every one and take good care. God bless you. Mm -hmm.